Why can't you just help me? What do you think I'm doing? Where did your shirt go? Cause it's a big, big Christmas And you can wear an iPhone S Just click, like, and share with a friend Just kidding, I lied. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen, but we have this coyote that keeps coming back and he's just a baby coyote, but the animals are going crazy. So I think he's here right now. <laughs> Uno wants to play with the coyote so bad. But the thing is, Uno, he literally eats small animals. He's so cute and he's just trying to survive. I know that. But the problem is his natural instincts are to kill and he would eat Cheeto alive. Oh, he's so cute though. I'm afraid to take Uno on a walk now. All right, we're going on our walk. Happy Vlogmas. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to get into the shower and Shane said that he got us a surprise. I got you an off the shoulder. <laughs> what are you wearing? Don't you mean what's wearing me? <gasps> I want to show off my collarbones here. Okay, oh. what's my surprise? Okay, this is pie soap. They're both soaps that look like holiday pie. Look at this, are you ready for this? No. This is soap. Okay. You can't eat this. Show it to me. Let's take a look. What? It's a pie, but it's soap! <laughs> it looks and smells like a pumpkin pie. That does not look comfortable to scrub your body with. You never scrub your body with pie? It's great. How does it work? Cut off a slice and then we rub it on our bodies, just like normal pie! Is it soft? No. <laughs> okay, let's cut into her. Ew, why would you eat it? It looks like pie. Oh, it's tricking me. This looks like whipped cream. So you just cut it like a pie too? Why is that such a small piece? What do you mean? You're not eating it, Shane. My butt is... <laughs> Ugh, you're so bad at cutting pie. Do you want to try? Yeah. Well, first let me fix something. <laughs> Shane! <laughs> I see your penis! <laughs> <laughs> see, look! It's a little piece of pie. Aww. You can shove it in your little balls. Put up your little buddy. Ugh. Fun! Fun! Oh, no, no, boo, that you'll die. <laughs> Well, <laughs> does it smell good? Yeah. Oh, all right, let's shower. Wait, we're not filming that, right? Oh, I mean, I guess we don't have to. This is as much skin as I'm gonna show. <laughs> Update that soap was really gross and didn't work very well. <laughs> Just imagine this sitting in your bathroom. <laughs> Sitting in your bathroom. <laughs> Shane, stop trying to take off my towel. I want to see that dick. Stop. I want to see that dick, that Christmas dick. I want to see that candy cane. They're playing Christmas music at the mall, which I love. And I just realized that um, it's going to be very hard to not shop for myself. Shopping for other people. We could do this. So I found my friend Lizzie, who you haven't met yet, but uh, let this be her introduction. Just picked up some things for myself. <laughs> of self-giving. Is literally all of that for you? Yes. You're a monster. I got approved for a Gap credit card and I had to spend $300 for it to be worth it. Me when I go Christmas shopping for my boyfriend. I love these blankets and they're so soft but I have no one to get one for besides myself. I feel like I should give them an introduction to us. Yeah. Because we've known each other for like seven years now. We go back. We met when we were both working really terrible jobs. I worked in a literal janitor's closet that was converted to sell juice. <laughs> and this big. I was waiting tables. We started making really, really cringy videos together. I think the first of which uh, was us chasing a chicken. Everyone, we're going to feed a chicken right now. I really don't want to even touch it. I like, don't even <laughs> want to touch it. Serena, come here. Oh, can they bite? <laughs> But really, do they bite? <laughs> no, they'll bite, peck at you, it'll peck at you. It pecks. They don't have teeth. Look at how sweet it is, it's not gonna hurt you. B boss hog, oh, Ow! shit, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> Wallow it. <laughs> I never wanna be your lover. No, that was the second one. The first one was you helping me fix my car. <laughs> My car won't start. Are this isn't serious? funny. Okay, let's look. Why can't you just help me? What do you think I'm doing? Where did your shirt go? 
my car actually broke down in real life and then Rylan offered to help me like he knows how to fix cars. I don't think you ever gave me a choice. You would scream call me and be like, get over here now. Film this, edit it. Cool. Usually I wear makeup in public, but next year I'm gonna be too famous to be like this. Can I have a selfie? <laughs> no. I literally asked Lizzie to take me yeah! to my car because I'm on the opposite side of the mall. Look at the bottom of her car. Bitch, what the fuck? I am wigless. Please don't vlog this. I need people in high school to think I'm doing well. Bitch, me too. In high school, oh, like your high school friends? No. This is crazy. I thought I was messy. Bitch, what? Me too, ha ha. So Udo and I are going to the vet right now because he actually has to get some rabies shots. Okay, baby, come on. Shake. Oh. Are you hiding? <laughs> Udo. Last time he was here, his balls got chopped off and he was in a neck brace for weeks. I just got home and I thought it would be the perfect time to tell you a story. Back in the day when I first moved to Hollywood, I was actually um, Justin Bieber's photo double multiple times. It started for CSI and then I did his Macy's Christmas commercial. <laughs> and just kind of every time he acted, uh, his people would call me. It's been multiple years since. My commercial agent reached out and he was like, hey, uh, Ryland, Justin's people are looking for a photo double for him and they're wondering if you could audition. And I was like, I've literally worked with them five times. If they really want me, they should just direct book me. And my ego is now above being a photo double for somebody because being a photo double is just showing up on set for somebody and kind of sitting in for them when they're not uh, actually being recorded. So it's kind of like a side hustle job. I was like, I would in no way, but because it's Justin Bieber, I will submit an audition tape because I want the story and I wanted to share with all of you guys. So my agent was like, okay, I mean, you've got it. Like you've basically booked the job, but they still just want to like see you for proportions and like how you've grown and stuff. I was like, okay, well, what do I got to do? And they were like, well, you just got to uh, sing and dance to his song, uh, Friends. Honestly, this was a month ago. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> I remember going through my closet and trying to find the most Justin Bieber-esque outfit that I could find, and this is what I came up with. I literally cannot dance. I joke that I want to be a pop star, but in all reality, I know that is not a reality for me. So good, worst lip sinker ever. I also realized this when I was filming a music video that lip singing is such a craft and I have not mastered it whatsoever. Can we be friends? It's like somebody with too much confidence and zero talent. It's all right. Like I got a This up close shot is giving me a life. I mean, literally thinks I'm hot. Can we still be when you're at six acting like a Ted, the self-confidence is out of control here. Well, needless to say, I didn't book it. <laughs> This is me um, practicing my handstands while uploading footage to my computer uh, because I'm really, really, really trying to perfect a perfect handstand. As you can see, I'm nowhere near close yet. You guys, that is all I have for this week's video. I'm also now in Colorado where it's snowing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was a little bit different, a little more casual, uh, but uh, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you later next week. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos. I love you very much. Goodbye.